Welcome back to Watching Film. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Memphis offense. Their offense is one of the best in the country by many metrics. Uh, points per game, yards per play, yards per play not in garbage time, available yards per drive. Um, they're pretty good. They have a returning starter at quarterback Brady White, um, who's been playing there for a few years. Really good player. They have an explosive group of skill players around it and a good scheme to go with it. When you mix all those together, you usually have a lot of success. Now, they had struggles against Cincinnati last week, but Cincinnati is really good. The USF defense is not quite on that level. So, let's take a look at what they do schematically. We'll start with their run game. They do some creative stuff in the run game, but a lot of the last couple games have been kind of zone stuff. So, there's some zone here. You see here... You're actually getting down, and you have the center pulling around. You just get run through, and he goes right by it. But a lot of times on the backside, they run stuff. So this is almost like a like a, a, a G play or a down play, in the I think the wing T guys call it. But a lot of times they'll they'll be running some type of screen attached to the run back here. So you'll have a receiver back here, so the quarterback can kind of look at numbers. If the box is light like it is here, just give the run. Or we could also throw the screen out there. Here's kind of an insert ISO with the tight end here. Off the ball, the Y off. So he's going to start here. Looks like they're going to be out, out. Come in, insert ISO on him. He ends up having to help up front, but it still hits, unfortunately, fumble at the end. But schematically, you get exactly what you want. A big hole for your explosive back to run through. Here you can see that screen at the top. He's coming back for it. There. There. And then this looks just to be just like a wide zone here. He gets vertical. Good run. They're, they do some run stuff, but they're mostly a passing team. But some of their run stuff will come off RPO. So right here, kind of a similar look to the last play. You got that wide zone look. But you'll notice up here, we've got the ability to throw this as well. So this is the give off the RPO look. Here's another one that looks kind of like, uh, looks like it could be RPO as well. Maybe play, maybe just play action. But you got slant. Flat, if he gets held in here, you can take that flat all day long. So he gets held by the run fake. He's got him out flanked. Give it to him. And that's the tight end who's a really good player. Then right here again, this could be play action RPO. It's hard to tell here, but it looks like the same thing where we're pulling right there. He may have eyes here because they will do some stuff where they read third level defenders. He widens outside this... I believe it's another tight end there. Hits him in the hole on a rope for a post here in the red zone. They do a lot of good stuff in the red zone. You'll see more of it later. Here's what I believe is you have kind of a third level RPO. You're probably looking at this safety here. This is one you'll see sometimes when you're playing quarters teams. Sometimes he's got number two. Number two blocks and you're showing run to that side. He'll come to fill in the alley, and that leaves a hole behind him for the post. So right here, pull it. There's the hole he left for me. Here's a little... This is actually kind of a... Like a... 
run pass pass option this could just all be window dressing here but you have the rub coming here that you can throw he looks to be a lead blocker it's a sprint out play this could be designed just for the shovel because you see you have him pulling and the shovel coming behind here so this is kind of a play with a lot of stuff going on this could be designed all for window dressing that just to get the shovel but this could also be where I can sprint out and I can throw this. So I get the rubber out there, I could throw that. He's my lead blocker. So if they widen out, I could run that. If he closes on this shovel, I can run behind him. Or if it happens like it did right here, he gets way up field. Then I give the shovel to this wing trailing my puller and now he's in open space and he's a guy that can go and you'll see him coming up again here shortly little design screen against Cincinnati they got a couple they got some guys that if you just give them a creeks they're gone so here's the same player as the shovel as the last play gets a little screen gets himself some space 92 yards to the house They'll use motion on screens. They'll use motion to get themselves some natural picks right here in the red zone. Nice little sprint out. Motion him in here. Get them to figure, you know, sometimes he'll have him no matter what. Sometimes he'll bump in if he becomes number two. So make get, cause a little confusion back here. Then have him outside release. Now he's caught inside. I'm breaking off his butt. Now I've got some separation. A good throw here. That's gonna really that's gonna be really tough for anybody to stop. So great design for an easy touchdown here on third and goal. Here's a little mesh play, it looks like. Thought they might get some man coverage from Cincinnati, so it looks like you got mesh. <clears throat> then the back kind of wheeling out of the backfield. So with that going on, you get caught up a little bit. Let's go. It's actually here. There. Over the ball. If they're playing man, the linebacker's probably matching the back, right? Because he's number four to this side. Get him caught up in all that traffic. Get him the ball in a hurry. Make a big play. Right here, you got two quick game concepts. You got like a snag concept. I think some guys call it wide corner. And then you just got double slant here. So it's kind of, I think the quarterback can probably look at the safeties or whatever. Get another slant coming from out there. Inside out, this double slant. Easy catch and easy throw and catch here on a double slant concept. And he's also got the Y corner or snag concept down here. So this is a little jet sweep play action here. It looks to be like a shallow cross look off the jet sweep. So you're getting the jet sweep action. With that, you hope you kind of get some kind of safety rotation. They have him coming shallow. Tight end's going to run the dig. And it looks like you have a post outside over the top. And then if they are playing some type of man coverage, again, you got your back coming out of the backfield, making people fight through traffic. With, with the safety rotation, maybe you get a shot at the post over the top. But if you get some type of man coverage or some type of blitz, you can drop it off to your back in space. Let him make a play.
And this is another one that could be, you know, could be run pass option. It's hard to tell. It might be play action. Either way, it's a simple concept to both sides. It's go, speed out to both sides. You know, if the corner's rolled up, you can throw that go. If it's cover two, you can fit it in that window. If the corner's off, you can look at this speed out on number two here. He likes the matchup outside, so he just throws the go. You win. Looks like it was one high safety. You win. Just, just throwing a go route. Easy pitch and catch. Here's a really cool concept on in the red zone here. So these two are going to actually make it look like a rub. Like you're probably trying to think this first underneath guy, but he's actually going to get vertical and go to the back of the end zone. So that they kind of jump the rub here. And then you get him wide open in the back of the end zone. Because you had two guys jump the rub. Thinking it's going to be that quick slant underneath. And then you have him actually going to the back wide open. Really cool concept. Uh, another concept they like down pretty much anywhere on the field is slot fade. They'll go kind of hitches. There's another receiver out here. Fade. Give that guy number. Give that number two receiver a lot of room. He makes a play even with interference here. And then to the boundary here, you got like a snag and a wheel. Again, if they're playing some type of man coverage, make linebackers cover your backs in space. Here's another look at slot fade right here again. This time for a touchdown. Same receiver. Same idea. Kind of a deep pitch. Slot fade. And then it looks again down here, snag, wheel to the back. So that means your safeties are going to have to be covering in space. Here's everyone's favorite play on NCAA back when it, in the day. Empty. It looks to be four verts with like a jerk route. So he'll sell like he's going out and come back in. Just get it to them. They do a lot of stuff, a lot of catch and run, run after catch. Give their guys the opportunity to get in space and make plays, and they do a very good job of it. So it's tough. They put you in a tough spot because you want to maybe be more aggressive and not give them a bunch of easy throws because they have a good quarterback. Maybe make life tough on him, blitz, try to get pressure on him. But then you, you're you putting yourself in a lot of one-on-ones with really explosive players. And if you mess up or make a mistake, they're going to make you pay. That's why they're so good on offense. Really good scheme, really good players, and a really good quarterback that can make it all go. Uh, you're going to have a tough night stopping them no matter who you are, uh, but especially tough for the way the USF defense has been playing this season.